What's up you guys, it's your girl Amelia. Welcome back to my channel and back for another video. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I get my hair prepared for a protective style. You know, a style that I plan to keep in for at least a month or so. Knowing me, probably less, but maybe a month or so, hopefully. So this is like all the steps I do to prepare my hair to be tucked away for a few. And yeah, it's pretty simple. A couple ways I like to do it, but today I think I'm gonna do just one way and show you guys and maybe if you guys like this I can show you different ways another time but yeah if you haven't subscribed yet you should definitely subscribe join the family I'm Nelia I make natural hair videos every week so definitely join the family we have a great time over here and give this video a like if you guys find it helpful let's get into it to start off of course I'm gonna shampoo as you can see I have been in the gym so shampoo is a must I'm gonna use this Cantu cleansing cream shampoo I like to use a cream detoxing, clarifying kind of shampoo before I put my hair away, just to make sure everything's off the scalp, we're starting fresh, we're starting new. I'll probably wash my hair two times with this and then rinse it out. I'll follow it up with a deep conditioner slash kind of a protein treatment. This is the Shea Moisture Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. I've actually come to really love this treatment and it's a shame that it's so tiny and you can only get it at Ulta. And yeah, this is probably the end of it. I'll probably use all of this today. So it's only got me about four or five deep conditions, which sucks. So make a bigger jar, guys. <laughs> After I let that sit in my hair for about 10, 15 minutes, I'll rinse it out. I'll also detangle while it's in there. So I'll probably use my Felicia Leatherwood to detangle. For my leave-in, I think I'm gonna follow up with this Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Curl Enhancing Moisture Butter. This is new in my stash, but I do love it. So, definitely gonna put a little bit of this. I don't want any heavy product because I am planning on stretching my hair out some type of way. I don't know if I'm gonna use heat or not, but if I do, I don't want any crazy heavy, heavy butters. So, we'll see. All right, so I'll come back to you guys after I wash my hair and put the leave-in in and everything, and we'll continue from there. Okay guys, so the method I decided to go with was a light blowout. And I don't always do this before protective style, but I do do it if I, one, want to keep the style in for a longer time because I notice that when it's blown out beforehand, it doesn't frizz up as much, at least not for me. Um, two, it does provide cleaner parts. For this particular time, I was prepping for Marley Twist. So the parts were cleaner and I also was able to finish faster when my hair was blown out. So I don't know, those are the three benefits I noticed with that. But definitely not necessary, but definitely an option. So here I added shea butter in the end to seal it all together before I put it up in a braid and I do this all around my head now shea butter is definitely a heat protected at least for me I see that it does protect my hair it does keep the moisture in that I did put in there beforehand but I also as you will see later add another heat protected on top of that so I do take extra precaution before adding the blow dryer to my head and also when you do it this way you do not need your hair to be bone straight after the blow drying so definitely I just call it a light blowout because it just gets a few of the kinks out but doesn't <laughs> straighten out your hair entirely So I let my hair kind of air dry in those braids for like maybe an hour or as long as possible honestly and I begin to tangle again and I take my blow dryer on low heat and I do the tension method. Now if you're new to the natural hair community, no problem, I got you. So basically the tension method is when you just hold your hair like I was doing and let the dryer do the work. Don't run a brush through it or anything like I'm doing here but just hold it out. Now I like to always start that way, but I do eventually turn over and use the brush to get a little more in there because I don't have the patience for the tension method all the time. But here I am just doing a quick little run through with the blow dryer. And like I said earlier, you don't even have to get your hair this straight. I think I was just getting carried away, honestly. <laughs> your hair doesn't have to be this entirely straight, especially if it's just going into some like Marley twist or spring twist or braids or anything. Thank you. 
but yeah that face right there I was just impressed with how smooth and like not dried out my hair felt I definitely think that butter helped out and of course shea butter always helps as well here I'm adding um, a second layer of heat protectant that was the tresemme heat protectant comment down below if you remember a time on YouTube about 10 years ago <laughs> when everyone was using that heat protectant I swear it was so popular like I was relaxed at the time and I was using it but every girl with any kind of hair texture was using it Ugh, good times on YouTube good times but yeah that's pretty much what I'm doing right here just running it through with the Felicia Leatherwood which I didn't think would be good at blow drying hair but you know you see it's doing its thing also to protect the ends because they are the oldest and the most you know easily acceptable to damage hold on to them don't aim the blow dryer right at the ends I always kind of keep those crazy looking again I'm just doing this for the protective style but here I am actually showing you guys how I also take this time to trim my ends. As you can see, I just kind of like search and destroy. I see where the split ends are. I see where the um, little knots that I get are at and I snip away. So I always kind of take advantage of that time before I put them away in the protective style to just get my ends looking decent. So as I'm editing this, I'm just thinking like, I can definitely use that Revlon paddle brush blow dryer thing that I've been seeing. I saw it on Amazon, you know, it looks promising. So I think I'm gonna try that out soon. Would you guys like to see a review? Just let me know down below. But here we are, all done. As you can see, it's not perfectly straight. I would never like jump right into flat ironing after doing this. That's a whole other routine. But this is straight enough for me to see my scalp, see the sections, see the parting, get everything smooth into my Marley twist, smooth into my spring twist, or even mini twist you can start with your hair like this. I like it, you know, not my always, not my number one go-to because you know, you don't want to do heat a, you know, too much. But yeah, here we are guys. This is how I prep for a protective style. After this, I jump right into it. And there's tons of videos of me doing different protective styles. So definitely check them out. I'll link some above. But yeah, here we are guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Leave any comments down below, any tips you might have for me or want to share with the class. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.